I love the GMT complication. As someone who works and travels across multiple time zones, it is extremely handy to be able to track a second time. GMT complications, however, are often quite pricey. What we have here is a very handsome automatic GMT for less than $1,000. In this video, we take a look at the Aquascaf GMT from Baltic. We've already reviewed a stunning three-hand internal bezel Aquascaf dual crown from Baltic, a Parisian micro brand founded in 2017 through Kickstarter. We also recently reviewed a GMT offering from rival micro brand Ferrer with the Maze 2. Today I was able to get hands on with the gray variant of Baltic's Aquascaf GMT. The case in this watch comes in at 39mm in diameter, 12mm in thickness, and 47mm lug to lug. These are the exact same dimensions as the dual crown reference we previously reviewed. However, I think this model, given the external bezel, makes the face appear quite a bit smaller. At this size, this watch should fit comfortably on nearly all but the smallest wrists. The stainless steel case in this watch, similar to the dual crown, is fully brushed with Baltic's brushed tourbillon pattern on the top of the case and horizontal brushing on the sides. Encircling the dial is a sapphire, bidirectional, and bicolor 24-click GMT bezel, which includes the 24-hour clock markers for the GMT hand. The bezel features a gray color from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and blue from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And the Arabic numerals featured on the bezel are nicely playful, particularly the sixes. While the bezel is adequately grippy, it is quite challenging to turn, and there is quite a bit of resistance, but that's something that will likely break in over time. The watch features a signed screw-down crown at the 3 o'clock position, and a domed sapphire crystal protects the dial. This Aquascaf GMT boasts a decent water resistance of 100 meters. The dial on this model is a handsome, glossy black finish with painted hour markers, featuring triangles at the 3 and 9, a lone Arabic numeral at the 12, and circles everywhere else. There's minimal text on the dial, and a frame matching date window placed at the 6 o'clock. The hands are all polished steel and each has loom. The hour and minute hands are sword style and the second hand features a lollipop about three quarters of the way down and a smaller one as a counterweight. The GMT hand is a nice blue color on the stem. The loom in this piece is amazing and is amply applied everywhere including all the hands and hour markers as well as the GMT bezel. The movement on this watch is the Swiss made C125 GMT automatic movement from Soprod, which features 25 joules, beats at 28,800 beats per hour, and has a power reserve of 42 hours. The movement does feature bidirectional winding, hand winding, and second sacking. Similar to the maze we previously reviewed, this is an office GMT watch, and not a true or traveler's GMT, which would allow for jumping local hour hand. The strap on this watch is a rubber tang style strap made from recycled marine plastic found at the bottom of the ocean, and you can get it in blue or black, or you could also get a steel beads of rice bracelet for an extra charge. The lug width is 20mm and the strap tapers down significantly to 12mm, and these rubber straps have plenty of holes and breathable texture on the underside for ventilation. With quick release mechanisms, this watch allows for easy strap swapping. Having my hands on a couple of references from Baltic, it's clear that this company makes quality products and delivers designs that expertly straddle the line between sophistication and playfulness. While the offerings from micro brands like Ferrer may polarize the community a bit, Baltic's designs are seemingly universal in appeal. It has nice touches of color on a classic black canvas, which gives it a bit of pop without losing any sense of elegance or utility. This watch is a great size and should fit nearly all wrists, and the rubber tapering strap is incredibly comfortable. At a cost of under $1,000 USD, this GMT timepiece with date complication is an attractive package. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.